Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic is a result of talking with a, a client who had a problem with his dashboard. He had the dashboard set up like this. It's a project management dashboard. Had the number of projects in the various categories, the details, the project managers, actual hours. Um, what he wanted to be able to do is just click on the not started and just see the projects that were not started, unfunded, and see those projects. As he came up here and clicked on it, however, nothing was happening. If you look, you've had the filter. Each one of those had the filter identified, came to the dashboard actions, and you could see that each one of there was filters um, identified. So we'll try to understand what the problem was. So first off, we went to the, jumped quickly to the not started worksheet. Here we go. These are actions that were a result of us just clicking on those other, those boxes on the dashboard. And so he has this field called not started, and he's counting that up. And so I want to take a look and understand what that field was. So I'm going to jump over to the original data where I've pulled all the data that he had, that he got. Project ID, project name, manager, the progress, the start date, finish date, forecasted. Um, he had act budgeted hours, forecasted, actual hours, previous hours. And then he has four columns over here, not started, past end date, unfunded, 19, unfunded 20. These are the columns that he wants to be filtering on. So then I looked at the project details. And you'll see this too. These are all items we just identified. Is we don't have any of those fields on this tab. So there's no linkage. So the first thing I need to do, we'll come here. We're going to create a, a calculated field. We'll just call this project status. I think there's probably one of those already project status. And what we'll do is we'll just make an if statement. If not started equals one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make this, uh, just put all the information into one field so that you, we can apply filters. This is assuming that they're all mutually exclusive, meaning you can't be more than one category. Otherwise, you're going to run into a problem. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this project status under the filters. We only want this for because it's not started. We only want this to be the not started. And now instead of summing not started value, we could leave it like that, but I would rather have it um, be project ID. And we're going to change this to measure count distinct. I always like to do count extinct distinct when you have project IDs. So if it shows up more than once, you still only get uh, the right number. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay. Come back to the dashboard, make sure everything looks right. Okay, so now we need to add that to this details tab. And actually we're going to need to add it two places. And what we do, we don't necessarily want to see what, what's happening here, so we're going to just change this. We're going to hide that. And I forgot we're going to actually need to add the project status to all these other items here. We're going to hide those as well. And this will be the link because just filtering it isn't going to be enough. We're going to have to also have the name, the field name on the, on the worksheet. So when it, you click on it, it's actually pulling a value over. Okay. So now let's click on this. And what do we see happen? It filtered it just like we wanted. That's what we wanted. 
But when we unfilter it, all the other titles are showing all the details. And we don't want that. We want these to stay constant. So now we're going to have to come back here and get rid of these. And the issue, I think if you've watched one of my other videos about quick filters, or these little filter icons, the problem is when we come to the actions here, We have the one source, which is right, but look at the target sheets. All the targets are selected, and we don't want that. We just want the project details to be selected. And then I also do some formatting. And then we're just going to do that for the other projects as well. I'm not sure what this project details is, so I'm actually going to remove that. If there was something you needed, you could add that back in later. And so let me go make sure these are all... They're all... Let's see here. The problem is that they all had this... Um, they were all cleared as a result of those other filters. And I think I may have just messed it up, but let's just see what we got here. And okay. Dashboard looks right again. So now when we click on not started, goes to that. Past date, there's only four. Unfunded, only three. Unfunded, and there's six. Two real key elements there, making sure that you have a field on both the source and the target worksheet. Also, making understanding that this little icon here, if you just click it, will apply to all the worksheets, and that's usually not what you want. So. Enjoy. Make sure you subscribe. Keep those comments coming. Make sure you leave ideas. Love to hear from everybody. Thanks again.